Right now, we are open to the My Contacts page, which lists all of your contacts. There's also a Most Contacted page and Other Contacts. Gmail likes to sort your contacts for you into those two categories. To create a new contact, we come up to this button here in the top left. We'll click it. Then, we can add a new contact. So we'll type their name here and their email address here. We can also add a phone number, address, birthday, and URL, but those things aren't really needed. We're going to click back, and here you can see the contact that we've just created. You can click on any of the other contacts to see their information and add or take away information from them. You can also click on this More button to delete a contact, which will remove it from your contact list. When you open a contact, you also have an option to send an email to that contact or add that contact to a group. We don't have any groups right now, so we're going to click Create New. I'm going to name this group Family. Okay. Now, Dad has been added to the group Family. We're going to go and add some other people to this group as well. Back. We'll open Mom. We'll click Group and we'll click on the word family. This will add this contact to family. We'll go back, and we'll add John Smith to family as well. Now you can see that this family tab has been created. We're going to click on that, and you'll see that the three people that we added to the group are here under the family tab. You have some other options here as well. You can rename the group, delete it, import and export it, print off all of the contact information, and more. Gmail also lets you import contacts from other things such as Outlook, Outlook Express, Yahoo Mail, Apple Address Book, all sorts of things. These services usually let you export their contacts as CSV or vCard files, which you can then choose and upload to Gmail. But that's a little complicated and we won't get into that now. To get back to Gmail, we're going to come up here, click on Contacts, and click on Gmail. Now we are going to cover composing an email. So we're going to click this Compose button here, and it will open your Compose email window. Here in the top section, you just type who you're going to send this email to. You can see that as you begin to type, the contacts that you made earlier will, will appear here. You can hit Enter or click on them to put their email addresses. To send it to multiple people, simply continue typing email addresses. Also, when composing an email, you can choose to send it to a group, such as the family group that we made earlier. Just start to type the name of the group, and it will appear. Click on it, and it will add the emails in that group to your message. This makes it easy to send to multiple people at one time. You can choose the subject of your email, and then you'll type your message. Down here, you have some formatting options. So you can open them by clicking this little A here. We'll highlight our text. We can make it bold, italics, underlined, change its size, and even change its font. When you're done formatting, just hit Send. You may have also noticed this little Saved feature here. This email has been automatically saved as a draft, and I'll talk about those in the next section of the video. If you decide that you don't want to send the email, you can hit this little trash icon. Now we will talk about receiving emails. So here is your inbox. The number next to your inbox is the number of unread messages you have there. Over here, you just click on an email to open it. This is the subject line of the email, the person who sent it, and their message, as well as any attachments that they may have hooked to the email. When you are finished reading the email, you have a few options. You can delete the email, which is a good choice for emails that you know you're never going to read again. You can report it as spam, or you can archive it, which is kind of like saving it for later. So this one, we're going to hit Archive. As you can see, the email is no longer in our list of emails because we have put it into our Archive box. For emails that are important, you can click this little star button next to them, which will put them into your starred inbox. So we'll click this, and now only the emails that you have put stars next to will appear here. Over here on the left side, you also have some other options. Sent Mail will show you every email that you have sent from your inbox. Drafts will show you any emails that you have not sent or deleted, meaning when you compose an email and you type something in it, 